Hello and welcome. Today we shall be taking a look at global healthcare company GlaxoSmithKline PLC. The company has a market capital of £77.4 billion and is currently ranked fifth in the UK FTSE 100 index. In the financial year to December 2018, GSK had a turnover of £30.8 billion and an operating profit before tax of £4.8 billion, which gave it a margin of 15.57%. It currently pays an annual dividend yield of 5.17%, which is paid quarterly January to January. This dividend is covered 1.5 times by the earnings per share. GSK can trace its roots back to 1715, with the current GSK being formed by the merger of Glaxo Wellcome and Smith Klein Beecham in 2000. In 2017, GSK was the world's ninth largest pharmaceutical company. The current CEO, Emma Wormsley, previously served 17 years at L'Oreal before joining GSK in 2010 and becoming CEO in March 2017. GSK employs about 100,000 people worldwide in over 150 countries with more than a third of these in the emerging markets. The business is divided into three divisions. Pharmaceuticals was 56% of revenue. GSK are the world leaders in respiratory and HIV treatments. Vaccines, which is 19%, for meningitis, shingles and influenza. The consumer healthcare was 25%, which includes Sensodyne, Aquafesh, Beecham's cold and flu products. For the previous six years, GSK has had a consistent revenue of between 23 and £30.8 billion, and an operating profit margin ranging from 7% to 44%, which gave it an average of 19.4%. The forecast for next year is a revenue of around £31 billion and a margin of 24%. The generated earnings for the previous six years of between 75.7 pence and 119.4 pence per share, the dividend has always been covered after 2015 by at least 1.28 times the earnings per share. The earnings per share is forecast to decline 5% in 2019 due to stronger generic competition. The share price standard deviation for the previous 12 months was 100, compared to 295 for the FTSE 100. The current share price is 79% above the 52-week intraday low. The selling of Horlicks to Unilever announced at the beginning of December for £3.1 billion was generally well received, but this was offset later that day by the announcement to purchase to Sorrow for £4 billion. It was considered that GSK had paid too much at $75 per share in cash which represented a premium of 110%. The announcements of a joint venture with Pfizer to combine their consumer healthcare businesses into one world leading joint venture which GSK will hold 68% stake was well received by the market. The 2018 year end results released the first week in February announced a 2.1% increase in the revenue driven by respiratory product sales which were up 35% and new product launches especially the shingles vaccine, Shingrex, with sales of £784 million. The earnings per share for 2018 increased 7% to 119.4 pence. These results were well received by the market. Prior to Emma Wormsley taking over as CEO, there were calls for a breakup of the group. With the company forming a new consumer healthcare division with Pfizer and selling the Horlicks and the purchase of Tesoro, GSK will be more focused on its more profitable pharmaceutical business. GSK plans that within three years it will demerge and float the consumer healthcare business, splitting GSK into two distinctive businesses, one focused on consumer and the other on pharmaceuticals and vaccines. With the rising life expectancy and ageing demographic, the world demand for GSK products is expected to grow. GSK has a price earnings ratio of 13 compared to the FTSE 100 of 11.4 and a dividend yield of 5.17% compared to the FTSE average of 4.48%. This dividend is covered 1.5 times by earnings. With GSK now becoming more focused, I have given it a rating of 4.3 out of 5. Thank you for watching. Please leave comments below. And also like and subscribe for further analysis of UK company businesses.